manipulating rows and columns in Microsoft Excel 210. Inserting rows into a worksheet. Here we have a typical worksheet. Let's say we want to insert a row um, at this point here. Um, we just simply, or let's, no, in fact, let's say go down here. Let's say we want to insert a row just above New Zealand. You'd uh, click on the nine here. So you click on what's called the row header here to select that row. You then right click, go to insert, and there you are, a new row has been inserted. At that point, you could type in some fresh information. Instead of pressing the uh, enter key, if you press the um, right arrow, you jump to the next cell across here, and you could type in some figures here and press the right arrow again. And here we are, I'm just creating some data. So as you saw, that was really easy. Let's say you want to insert a new row above the uh, USA row here. If you click on the USA row, so you click on the six here on the row header, right click, go to insert, and there you are, it's been inserted. If you want to change your mind, you can click on the undo button. Let's say you want to um, insert a row above um, the row for uh, Pakistan. You click on the 12 here, which is the, um, the row header, right click, go to insert, and there you are, there's your new row. Inserting columns into a worksheet. Let's say I want to insert a new column um, in front of the sales for 2004. I would click on the E column here, right click, insert, and there we go. Simple as that. Deleting rows within a worksheet. Let's say you want to delete the uh, row relating to New Zealand here. You could uh, click on the uh, row header here. Now, the way you don't do it is press the delete key. Look what happens. So I press the delete key with that row selected. It doesn't delete the row, it just deletes the row contents. Let me show you that again for uh, Mexico. I'll select the row, press the delete key. The contents are gone, but the row is still there effectively. Let's try that one more time for Canada. Press the delete key, the row is still there. So that doesn't work, so how do you do it? Well, let's say you want to delete the uh, row for Australia. You click on the row header here, so in this case row 8. You right click over the selected uh, row and you then click on delete. And as you can see, it's now gone completely. At the moment, we have um, rows going from um, 3 to 11. If I click on the undo button here, you notice we've now got from 3 to 12, um, showing that the row was deleted. Let's say you want to delete the row for China. Click here on the row header, 10 in this case. Somewhere over the selected row, just simply right click. Click on delete, and it's simple as that. Deleting columns within a worksheet. To delete a column, just simply uh, select the column you want to delete. So in this case, I'll, I'll click up here on the D uh, column header. It's selected this entire column. Somewhere over the selected column, you just simply right click click on delete and it's gone. If I click on the undo button, it brings it back. So let's say I wanted to delete the, the, um, the column for the figures for 2006. I click here, over the selected column, I right click, click on delete, and now you've got 2005, 2007, but no 2006. Modifying column widths. In order to change the uh, width of a column, if you just click on the um, column width you want to change, in this case, uh, column D, and if you right click over the selected column and then go to where it says column width, from there you can type in a new number. So the, um, the existing uh, value is uh, 9.29. Just to illustrate the, um, the change here, we'll make it quite large. So we'll change it to, say, 16. Click on OK, and there you are, it's changed. Always remember, if you've, uh, if you've done it wrong, you can always click on the undo button here. So let's do this again for um, the column relating to sales in 2006. You click up here, right click over the selected column, go to where it says column width, and there you can make your changes. You make it larger or smaller. So we'll make it 20 in this case, so you can see a really big change. And there you go, it's changed. The other way of doing it, the easy way in many ways, is at the moment this column is a little bit too wide. So in order to make this column narrower, 
If I move the mouse pointer up here, you can see the junction between column F, uh, F and column G. So keep your eye on the pointer. There it goes, it changes to that shape. Do it again. Normally it's like that. You go to here, and when it goes to the, that shape, you just press down and drag across, and when you let go, it's resized. Let's do this for column D, let's make it wider. I go to this point here to where the mouse cursor changes to that shape there. Press down, keep it held down. So we're talking about the left hand mouse button here. We'll move it to one side. When I release the mouse button, it's wider as you can see. If I want it uh, narrow again, I go up here, drag across and so on and so forth. We'll do it one more time for the B column. Move the mouse pointer here, press down, keep it held down. And when I release it, it's wider. If I want it narrower, I just drag in the opposite direction with the mouse button held down, and there you go, it's narrower. Notice in this case it's too narrow, so it doesn't actually fit. One nice feature is if I double click here, it automatically fits. So just to illustrate that again, let's drag these across so nothing quite fits. If I click on the first column, Go over to here, press the shift key down so that all of those columns are now selected. If I go to any one of these junctions between the columns and move the mouse pointer up here to change it to that shape, like I said, normally it's like that, move it up to change it to that shape, then you double click, look what happens. Everything's resized to the optimum width. So that's an automatic way of resizing uh, column widths. Modifying row height. Let's say I want the row for New Zealand to be taller, you know, to be higher. I click here to select the row, and if I just right click over the selected row, I can go to this option here which says row height, and the default there is um, 15. If I want I can change that to say 40 just to illustrate the point. Click there, and there you are, it's, it's changed. Click on the undo button. Let's do the same thing for the USA row here. Click on the row header here, which is row 6 in this case. Move the mouse pointer over the selected row. Right click, then go to where it says row height, and from there change it to this, the required value. So I'll change it to 30. And there you are, it's changed it. Incidentally, you could of course click here, press the shift key down and click here. That would select all of those rows. And then what you could do is right click over those selected rows, go to where it says row height, and you can change that from say 15 to 25, and that would in one go change the row heights for all the selected rows. If you don't like that, click on the undo button and back you go. The other way of doing it is by dragging and dropping. So let's say you wanted the, the row for just New Zealand to be higher, to be taller if you like, you could move the mouse pointer to the junction between 9 and 10 here, so look what happens. See it change? Press down, keep it, keep the mouse button pressed down, and drag down, and there you are. Let's do that again with a different row. Let's say you want the USA row to be uh, taller. Click here to select the row. Keep your eye on the mouse pointer. Normally it looks like that, but move it here. Wait till it changes to that shape. Press down the mouse button, keep it held down. Drag down to the, um, the height you want release it, and there you go. You can, of course, make them shorter as well as taller using this method.